Baby Live, here we are. <laughs> the Big Vito brand coming to you with our second edition on Thursday night. We got Thug Life going on tonight. I hope everybody Thug is life. doing good. This is Big V. This is Noel Harlow. Everybody's in the house. Let's talk about some great things tonight. What do you think we should chat about? Um, I gave, and you gave, a little hint that something had occurred here at the Casa today. When we got mad thuggish at 7 a.m. this morning, when some ish went down, before I had to talk about teen mom, I got a little. Yeah, you know, you know, some people, they bring the police here. So the popo <laughs> came here this morning. We had Not, the police knocking. They had a warrant. <laughs> <laughs> it was something. <laughs> they had a warrant. They had papers. They had cases, you know. They had some, you know, criminals, minimals, animals. You know, we're waiting for our viewers to build up. Do you think we should wait before we tell them why the police were here? Do you, do you think we should, like, keep them hanging a little bit and maybe tell a little story or talk about the day? Because I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, you, uh, you really <laughs> outdid yourself this morning. All right. Let's just – I don't want to keep anybody waiting. Let's just say why – why we're straight thugging <laughs> today we straight thugging because <laughs> so someone had a police warrant for their arrest okay so being from the crenshaws and shit, right shit. <laughs> so here was here was state trooper at the door earlier this morning it wasn't even the local police it state was state trooper. trooper at the door this they morning. had guns blazing and i'm like Excuse me, can I help you? He looked 11 teen now. So <laughs> it says, is, uh, Noel LaGrasso here. I said, um, Yes, sir, but she's sleeping. Can I help you? I'm my I husband. Was on the couch asleep. So he goes, Yes, I have I have a citation for us. No, he said warrant, didn't he? Yes, warrant. I'm a warrant. So I says, Warrant. I says, For what? Yeah, I said, I said, Just give me a second. I, and I'll let you in. So I says, I, you know, got something else on. I said, officer, come on in. I said, what's, what's the problem? I'm still so, sleeping. She was sleeping on the couch. I said, there's my wife sleeping. I said, is something wrong? <laughs> so being, you know, that, uh, you know, I, I've been hanging out with criminals lately. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was something. I tell you, it was like, um, you know, we have this citation here for your wife's driver's license. I says, I says, what are you talking about? Yes, your driver's license. Your your wife has a warrant for her driver's license. I said they really sent you here to pick up a driver's license. What's the matter? With you? He says, "Well, you know what's suspended." I says, "Yeah," and they says, "Well, you know, you know, you're supposed to turn it in." I says, "Sir, I mean, we've been in back and forth in hospitals." I said, "We completely forgot about it." I says, "You can have it as if you need it." I'm not suspended for like thugging, like I'm not doing like drive-bys and shit, like. <laughs> I'm not doing drive-bys. It's not like it can. What happened is, as you folks can tell, I wear glasses, and when I don't, I am blind. Like, legitimately, I see double of everything because one of my pupils is blown out of my eye, and the other eye is diminished. So I don't have like, what would you say? Any eyesight? Very little eyesight. Very, very little small eyesight. amounts of so, eyesight. With that said, there she is on the couch. And sleeping said, like an angel with a warrant. And I told the police officer, <laughs> I says, I could pack a bag for her, yo. It's messed up. He was like, I did. I said, I could like, pack babe. the bag for you, yo. All He's right. Like, babe, babe, the cops are here for you. <laughs> I thought he was kidding. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. Because we mess with each other sometimes. And that was and you want to know the like, best what? part about it, people? It was her mother and father sent her over and went to the wrong no, house. No, my mom didn't know. I called her, the, or she called me this afternoon. She was at work, and I told her what happened, and she's like, they wasted tax dollars to put a warrant out on not you, but your driver's license. I was like, yep, and they sent an 11-year-old state trooper to pick it up. What a great way to start the morning. And I made Vito sign for it. 
<laughs> and they said, do you have power of attorney? So I said, yeah, I got power of attorney. I, got, oh, I was shit. like, he's power of attorney. Let him stop for it. So I, got, I, got everything, I got everything on the lock here, man. But he tried to kind of argue a little bit because I think he was new. He smelled of new. He was like, oh, it's suspended. You might have citations. And I'm like, sir, I haven't driven in like And then it's said, on, it said on that medical, medical conditions. Medical conditions. So with that. We were like, all right, no big deal. That was the start of the day. That was thug life this morning. So I'm then, the new Tupac of podcasting. So then the day got even better because yesterday or the day before, I dropped my Mercedes off at the shop. And then last night, the Hummer all of a sudden had a little leak of antifreeze. So I wound up driving back to the shop. He says, yo, V, what are you doing here? I said, well, I came to make a switch. I said, you my Mercedes back. I'm going to drop off my Hummer. So he says, he says, what the hell happened mess, with your car? I says, <laughs> I says, it's the antifreeze. Something's, something's up. I said, don't kill me. It's Christmas time. I know you buried me with the Mercedes, but I mean, you know. You go out and you buy expensive cars. Like, seriously. Hold on. But do you know why? Because <laughs> it's. Thug life. But they're more expensive to fix. And then, like, we buy expensive cars, and then you go to fix them, and then they're, like, expensive fixes. And this is why we will never have a Jag. Because I'm not – there's no way we're paying to have a Jag fix. That's ridiculous. Now, so you know what? So you know what happened was she picked up the Mercedes, um, had it clean. It's shining. It's profiling. It's looking good. My boy, Tony. My, My boy, boy, Tony. So uh, It's your pops. Tiny pops. So, so my pops took care of the car. Everything is good. Then the next car to go in is the Mustang. <laughs> so, you know, three maintenance deals at the Christmas time. Ain't really the best of situations, but things happen. You look at it and go, I'm okay. Glad, I'm glad you saved WCW money. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. I oh, damn. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. That's rude. I got to tell a story because I promised everybody that I would tell a story. And uh, we were chatting on Twitter with our lovely friends on Twitter. And we were talking about video games. Now, Vito is not a big gamer. However, there is something in our house that happens to be a very huge competition. Um, and that is the Wii. And we don't play like regular Wii games like I do and the kids do. And like Mario and like, like I'm a big old school game, Mark. Vito plays. I saw you smiling. I saw you. So I might not be able to see, but I saw you smiling. Vito plays games that were like game shows, like Hollywood Squares and um, Press Your Luck. That's whammy for you because you don't remember the name. Price is right. And he cheats. Don't believe him. He cheats so bad. And I was I, talking about you beat me because you never play regular games. And you beat me several months ago. I And I'm still blaming the stroke. Several months ago at Mortal Kombat on Sega. I have not touched the Sega since. But it hold on a second. I will never touch it again. I am a complete novice at these games. I don't play these games. I just go like this. Babes. And I win. Babes. You're what they call... A button masher. Do you know what a button masher is? Yeah, I understand this that. This is you. Okay. And then you work them into the corner. Like, say this is like me. I'm over here in the corner. And you're over here like, what, 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 what? And you never stop mashing the button. So you're going what's called punking. You're punking me by tapping that button. And then I die. And you know, no fatalities. So there's no cool ending. It doesn't turn into a dragon. It mm -hmm. doesn't rip my vertebrae out, which I wish you would rip my vertebrae out in my life. Nothing. But you know what? That's the way I roll. That's why I play my games, girl. I digress. Okay. So we're playing Price is Right. And and everybody knows we have two kids. Okay. Hilly and Dominic. Okay. So that's what we do. And it gets vicious. Like people get drug into it outside of the house. And it's like. People start crying in the house. Phone calls are getting made to relatives and whatever. So in our like family room. We used to have a computer in the corner before Vito bought me a very beautiful curio cabinet to keep my salt and pepper shakers in. So there was a whole like corner desk set up before we set up the studio. So Vito's sitting in the corner. I'm on the couch. Goo's on the couch. Nick's on the couch. And we're playing Price is Right. 
And Vito, we're like, you can't touch the computer. Don't, don't lie, bro. <laughs> don't lie. Like, you can't touch a computer. You can't. Because you play pricing games. It's exactly like Bob Barker style prices, right? So this refrigerator comes up like a Whirlpool refrigerator. And we had just gotten a brand new stainless steel two-door ice making brand new refrigerator. Brand new. So everybody's been, you know, been. We look over. Goo looks over and goes, yo, Vito's got a refrigerator up on the computer. Tell me you didn't. I did. Tell me you didn't. You so did. He so did. And I was like, yo, he does. He's cheating. And what did you say? Stug life, girl. That's not what you said. You were like, well, I was looking because I was going to buy a new refrigerator. And I'm like, you just bought a new refrigerator like two months ago. Don't blame me. This is what happened. If if I've got to bring Goo on here or Nick to 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 verify this. I will. I will update this live stream, guys. It didn't happen. It okay. ha I swear to you. Right, don't enough, make me make enough. With, enough with the vi enough with the video games. Okay. Just admit that you cheated at the pricing game. That's all. Just admit you cheated at the pricing. Guys, game. after today's events with the popo -po coming here, you cheated. I did not cheat. Right. A and thug never cheats. A thug. Oh, please, Crenshaw. All right, <laughs> let's go to the next subject tonight. Okay, we're going to talk about. Um, Pretty much it was a pretty busy week. You know, we talked about social media and what it does to people and how it affects people and uh, how it not only affects that person, but the person's lives and families and everything. So we addressed that this week. Um, we had a couple of uh, good – we had a, a good rehab day yesterday. There are some new machines out there that could possibly help. We used the Evo machine, which I haven't been able to use since my nap went bad after the stroke. When I was in rehab, like an Evo machine, how you explain it? It's like um, it's like a walker with arms on top. It makes you and then you go. It makes you stand up or attempt to stand up straight and walk. So this was the first time I've been able to use this since my neck went bad. I get forty feet. So that's good. So things are improving. And then today, she did a podcast. Yay! I so, did a podcast today. For people who don't know, podcast was Teen Moms. And it's spilling the teen mom tea is the name of it. It is. Vince. Well, the name is not important, but what the accomplishment <laughs> is, is that from where she came from when she had a stroke to what she was able to do today was a big, big uh, 180 degree turnaround from where she was. I mean, almost dying to ain't able to do a podcast today. She lost the eyesight, lost the ability to walk a little bit, couldn't eat. Couldn't, couldn't sleep, couldn't, couldn't talk, couldn't, couldn't be in crowds, couldn't be in the light, couldn't be any noise, couldn't be nothing. So a lot of hard work. Got it back up on our feet. Hard work was, for uh, both of us. Mega powers. So oh, yeah. with that said, today was a big day for the LaGrasso family. We were able to get her back on our feet somewhat yep. and lead a normal life. Things sure. haven't been easy, but you know what? Things are never easy in life. Hopefully we got some good things coming up soon, you know, and, uh, you know, things are going forward in a, in a positive way. It was a good day. <clears throat> and a good day. Today now, was a good day. We That's also, people didn't know, we have a website, bigveto.com. Yay. And on the website, we have different affiliates for the Big Vito brand. If you go on bigveto.com, you're able to see all the affiliates, all the shows I'm doing, um, the show we just added. Uh, you're able to see... Two jackets for sale, Nitro jacket and the original Skullbone Crush jacket. And then you have T-shirts that are for sale at Collar and Elbow. Use the big veto code. Can you say it with the southern accent? Collar and Elbow. Collar and Elbow. It's not like a car, babe. I love when you do that. I'll just listen. And then we also have <laughs> ProWrestlingTees.com slash the big veto brand. Go on there. Some good selections. And, of course, we have an Amazon list. The Amazon list was created. Because we do not take donations, this is not something where I'm trying to make money with donations and have sponsors. This is a project to trying to get my wife up and going. But people have been asking, what can we do for you? So we created a Amazon wish list. If you'd like to purchase something, hey, it's appreciated. It's not necessary. 
you know, but people have been asking what we could do because people want to set up a GoFundMe. People wanted to donate money and we don't accept money. We're not accepting GoFundMe, you know, I'll handle things and we, you know, we're making it and making our way. So, I mean, we're doing the best we can with things. Right. So that's a good thing. What's your favorite type of gift to get for Christmas? What do you love to get for Christmas? Cadillac. We have enough cars. They're all in the shop. I need a cat. I really would like, I mean, every Christmas I want an IROC Z. You know, I do look at them. And then I've been dying to get my Corvette. I'm going to get one. Can you say in real people life, like the life that I live over here in real people land? I'm going to have what? Corvette along with the Mercedes okay, and the Hummer. That's Vito life. What is your favorite type of gift to get for Christmas? I don't know. Hang on, I don't know. I like gifts. I like boxes. I like big things. You like little boxes. Because I buy you a watch usually. Buy, well, I bought you two last year. So, you know, especially if I get some great clothes I like. Watches, I usually get you clothes, too. Clothes, watches. I love the jackets. I have a great one from Affliction from last year's Christmas. I have yes. great watches from last year's Christmas. Um, I have some nice shoes. I have nice clothing. You know, I, like I always to get dress fun good. Things to get for Christmas. So I mean, everything <laughs> is looking good in my closet. You know, it's just a matter now that we're able to go out and enjoy them. I have shirts from last year I haven't even worn. I'm pulling tags off, and she goes, "When did you get that new shirt?" I said, "Last year before you got sick." And we I wouldn't remember it anyway. I don't so, remember a lot about last year. So it's all good. I mean, you know, we're trying. We're making our way up. Um, what was your favorite gift you got as a kid? What was like your big deal gift? I really don't know. You really don't know? No, I don't know. It wasn't like a basketball or like a bike. I got them everywhere. Like... I, I wore them out. So I, was... what about I really like... didn't have a favorite gift, you know. Oh. A pinball machine. Did you get a big size or a little size? You got a big size pinball? Who got that for you? Your grandfather. That's when my mother and father got it. And that's when they had just come out the big pinball machines, and I got one. That's banging. I never had that a pinball machine. Cool. I got a yellow Sony boombox one I time. I also had a drum set one time. You broke our drum set. You know, if you'd stop knocking me on the show. I'm not knocking. And stop I'm just saying bad things truth. about me. It's like, Here's the thing. When it would you're be a wonderful. thug, you tell it like it is. No. I got warrants. What am I going to do? Because if I was to say things about you, it wouldn't be a great show. You just did. You just talked about words. Well, why don't you ask me a question? I'm sure inquiring minds are like, no question about me. Uh, why are you such a dork? Why are you such a... Well, you shut down fast. Cut. What were you going to say? <laughs> a coattail hanger on her. You riding on my coattails, girl. You know, got you hooked up with the brand. Got you on show. Should we take a poll? Can't take a poll. I really don't care. Should we take a poll? No. Who would you guys like to look at? Vito. Or me. <laughs> with my thug life hat all the way down. Guys. Anybody out there that'd like to take my wife has a situation. You're going to get in trouble because somebody's going to step up, son. Ain't nobody stepping up. I make the same offer every week, every time, every day, every place. Well, my wife, you can have it. Here's $20. Here's the keys to the Mustang. It's a full tank of gas. Bring her home by 2 a.m. Enjoy yourself. He's ridiculous. Kind of stuff, no, that's good. Anybody want to come over and play Nintendo? I'm down with that. Hi. Hi. That's been Nintendo. Really? You said I was a dork and you said all these things, but I'm going to make the truth come out right now about you. What now? I'm putting your shit on the street right now. Okay, guys. Mike Tyson's punch out. Glass Jaw Joe has one victory. Guess who? <laughs> Guess who it is? Vito can't beat Glass Jaw Joe and Mike Tyson's punch out. And there's witnesses. There you go. It's out there. Guys, now. I'm not a gamer. I'm sorry. You talk about it. You would talk about it. I'm not a gamer. That's fine. This isn't the kids hour. Oh, you're going to offend the audience. You okay. Gaming is not for children. 
Gaming is for <sighs> enjoyment. What do you do for enjoyment? Oh, I shouldn't have asked that. It's a lot of things. <laughs> That's for the late, late show. So we have a lot of shows that we've been doing. Right. So let's cover a little bit about like what's kind of been going on in our public life here. You did, um, well. Uh, getting Color on uh, with Roots Russo. Monday. Comes out on Mondays. On Tuesdays, I do, I've been doing um, a super ugly show. Tuesdays have been a killer. Super Ugly Show, Raw Smackdown Review. Q&A at 7. Q&A at 7. Live. So I'm jumping from 1 to 1 to 1. Uh, Wednesday night, I did uh, No DQ. Tonight, I'm doing this. Tomorrow, I don't believe I have anything. Saturday, I don't have anything. And then Sunday, I'm back at it again. No, Saturday, you have sound bites. Sound bites. Sound bites come out Saturday morning. Everybody's been saying they love sound bites, which is really cool. Um, I think this week's match is Big Vito in a dress versus Black G's. Where was that? Germany? England? Versus who? Black, Black G's. G's. Sabian. Uh, England. England? Yeah. You guys want to hear a cool story about that? Vito wrestling Black G's. I didn't know Vito yet. I had met him in passing, but I didn't really know him, know him. And I was staying with Chrissy Rivera. We were having like a a girls weekend Chrissy Rivera from CZW so we're having like a girls weekend and we're staying and we get this call from overseas and it's Black Jeeves calling us and he was talking about how he got to work with Vito on this tour and it completely changed the way he looked at wrestling like he was really kind of down when he went over there and he was like the US wrestling had really been bringing him down and he'd have been having a tough time so he goes over to England and he starts working with V and V like opened his mind to this whole different way of doing things and training and working in the ring. And here he is putting Vito over to, to me and Chrissy. And we're like, man, like he seemed like a completely different person. Like probably like three, two or three years later, I start dating Vito after, <laughs> after he was whatever. Because we had all the same friends, really. Like we knew all the same people. We just weren't friends with the other. But this match is from that tour where he called us on the road and said, Vito was wonderful. All right. All right, guys, listen, we've done um some we, this is our second one we're doing. Okay. Yes. Next week we are gonna be doing a um a late night show. We are doing this show still and then a late night show. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. For our live stream, because we have people that can't get on Facebook. 10 o'clock, we are going to debut Big Vito After Dark. Big Vito After Dark. Anything you'd like to ask a stripper. So it should be pretty fun. should be interesting. We have an exotic dancer coming in who is a close friend of ours named Amber B. Trix. And she is going to answer your questions. Anything you wanted to Ask an exotic entertainer. So that should be fun. Um, you know, everybody should have a good time with that. It's for adults. It's at 10 o'clock. So guys, catch it. It should be really, really interesting. Okay. We are in the works of trying to get the YouTube and questions coming up. So we're going to figure that out this week. We've been trying to um, arrange a call-in show as well. We have right. Harry Barnett from England is working on that. He's done several other call-in shows. So he is currently working to try to get us to be able to have you guys call in and ask us questions and um, whatnot. <laughs> it should be interesting to have a different answer instead of just talking. So we have questions coming in. I think everybody will have a good time with it. More people get to talk. More people get to do things. Mm -hmm. So we're going to wrap this up tonight. Okay. Check us out on YouTube, of course, at The Big Vito Brand. Subscribe. It's free. Go to Twitter, The Big Vito Brand. Followers are always welcome. Go to The Big Vito Brand on Facebook. Also, there is The Corleone Club. If you'd like to get some T-shirts, it's The Big Vito Brand at collar and elbow and also on pro wrestling tees.com slash the big veto brand we have <clears throat> some t-shirts on pro wrestling tees now with that said guys use the use the code big veto for collar and elbow okay and then we have the new show that noel is doing go ahead and promote it okay guys if you are a fan 
of Teen Mom on MTV or you want to see a completely different side to Vince Russo because you're not going to believe it, tune in on Thursdays or ac actually at any time. It debuts on Thursdays. It's on the brand YouTube. It's called Spilling the Teen Mom Tea. And we're going to give you all the inside scoops of Teen Mom that you might not know, news that comes out after the shows have already been taped and a review of the shows. We hate Farah. Join our hate Farah team. Come and check it out. It's on the brand. Again, it's called Spilling the Teen Mom Tea. So check us out. All right, guys. Listen, it's been great talking to you. I hope everybody had a good night. Peace out. Exit out of this thing. Bye-bye, guys.